everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kay. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the February edition of the Look Fantastic Beauty Box. So, as always, if you already know everything there is to know about this box and you just wanna skip ahead to the items inside, then I will leave a timestamp in the comment section down below so that you can just skip ahead. But if you want to know a little bit more about this box, I'm gonna give a brief little description here, but I will also leave some more detailed information in the description box down below so you can check that out at your own leisure. So, Look Fantastic is a monthly beauty subscription service from the online beauty retailer Look Fantastic. Now that is a massive website, sells everything from makeup to skincare to hair care, beauty tools and probably a few little things in between. The brands range from drugstore all the way up to high end and they also do this beauty box. Now this retails for £15 per month on a rolling monthly subscription but you can reduce the cost of the box by taking out a longer length of subscription. For instance, my boxes cost me £13 per month and that's because I'm on a 12 month rolling subscription. So you can see it just reduces the cost a little bit. Inside the box, you get six beauty products, again, ranging from makeup to skincare to hair care and beauty tools. But this box does tend to be a little bit more skincare heavy. So that is something to bear in mind if you're interested in taking out a subscription. And the total value of contents of this box is usually £50 or more. Quite often it's a little bit more. So let's just take the lid off and see what we've got inside. So on the inside of the lid, there's usually some sort of quote or inspirational message. And this month we say, you are loved, you are worthy, you are magical. Quite like that. And this is what we look like inside. So we've got a little booklet that tells us everything we need to know about the items inside. And then the items are just wrapped up in tissue paper underneath. Now this little booklet also tells us about the edit, sort of the theme of the edit. Um, it tells us, uh, often tells us a little bit about some of the brands that we find inside. It used to tell us the RRPs of the items inside, but a couple of months ago they seemed to stop doing that, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I haven't opened this box yet so I don't know what's inside um, so I won't be able to give you prices as I'm sort of going through it but I will be putting the prices on the screen for you so that you can see what the RRPs are um, but we will be referring to this as we go through so that I can tell you a little bit more about each item as we go through um, there's usually a sneak peek in here as well so I'm just going to have a look and see if I can find that so I have found the sneak peek for next month's box. So if you don't want to know what the sneak peek is, then again, I'm gonna leave a timestamp in the comments down below so that you can just skip past this little part here. But if you want to know what the sneak peek is, it is the Christoph Robin Regenerating Hair Mask. It's 50 mil and worth £9.77. So, quite like hair masks, quite looking forward to that. So on to what's in the box. Let's rip this open and this is what we're looking like. It looks a bit empty but there's something sort of hiding at the top here and I'm going to start with the sneak peek from last month and that was this Illamasqua primer. Oh, I'm about to lose the box. So it's the Beyond Veil Skin Glowing Gel. So I'm actually using the Hydra Veil version of this at the moment. I quite like it, so quite excited to try this. Um, I don't know too much about it, so let's have a look in the book. So it says, combining two of Illamasqua's hero products, the Hydra Veil Primer and Beyond Powder, this face primer is hydrating and illuminating all in one. Apply under makeup to help it last all day whilst also providing a luminous natural looking glow. Um, apparently it's got vitamin C and fruit extracts in here. How to use, blend one small scoop all over the face until fully absorbed, follow with your favourite foundation. I am curious, I want to know whether it's uh, the same sort of consistency as the Hydra Veil because that's like a weird gel type formula. Let's see. Oh, well, that's a little bit different, but that's what that looks like. 
So the Hydrovel is just like a clear gel and that's obviously not clear. Oh, I'm quite quite intrigued by that. Kind of want to kind of want to try that. So that's a good start. Okay, so up next we've got something from Magnetone and it is the Wipeout Swipes eco-friendly microfiber makeup removal pads. Just had some of these in January's glossy box, so I'm curious to see what these are like because I wasn't too fussed about those. And oh, I already know I'm not gonna like these. Um, so I had a magnetone like cloth last year, I think, and I was a bit dubious about whether that was gonna work, and I actually really, really enjoyed it. I actually it worked, which I was quite surprised at because the makeup eraser and things like that generally don't really work for me but that one did so these though I already know I'm not going to like them they look great on the surface um, but they're like a double stitched material which I've had some similar from a different brand before and I'm, I find that when I'm trying to use them the material just sort of rubs against itself rather than actually moving across your skin so i'll try them i'll see what i think of them but already i'm a bit oh dear let's see what the book says two microfiber cleansing pads that remove even the toughest of makeup with just warm water super soft and ideal for sensitive skin as no cleanser is needed Simply throw into the washing machine after use to reuse thousands of times. That means no more disposable makeup remover wipes going into landfill. How to use. Soak the pad in warm water, squeeze out any excess and wipe over the face, eyes and lips. Double sided to remove all your makeup in one go. Like I said, I'll try them but I really don't like that they've got that sort of double material thing going. Just past experience doesn't fill me with much hope. But next is something that I'm quite excited about actually. So this is from Elemis and this is the papaya enzyme peel. So I've been quite excited to try this and for some reason I've just never gotten around to it. I, I might even have a sample of it already that I've forgotten about. I really need to go through my skincare drawer at some point. Um, but yeah, this just sounds really interesting to me. Um, I'll just read through what the book says about it. Okay, so this was actually one of two items that we could have received. The other item was the Madara Hydra Recharge Cream. Um, but I'll just go through the information for this since this is what I've got. So this is a natural exfoliating facial cream with seven active ingredients to repair, protect and clarify your skin. Ideal for all complexions, this exfoliator gets rid of dead skin cells without harsh abrasion. The result? Smooth, moisturised and brighter skin. Now it's, it says here it contains papaya, pineapple, algae, seaweed extract, milk protein, sunflower oil and vitamin E. How to use? Apply all over cleansed skin, avoiding the eye area, and leave for 15 to 20 minutes. Rinse with warm water. Sounds like something I could uh, I could get on board with. So yeah, I'm definitely going to give that a go at some point. And if I've got another one lurking somewhere, I'll dig it out and uh, sort of give it some continual use just to see how I feel about it. Ooh, so this is from Bubble Tea and I've quite liked a lot of things that I've tried from Bubble Tea. This is the Hand and Body Butter in Strawberry Macaron. Now I am using a hand cream from Bubble Tea at the moment, but it's in different packaging and it just says it's a hand cream. It doesn't say it's a, a butter. So I'm keen to try this. I wonder if it smells like strawberry. I hope so. Oops, it's got a little thing on, but I'm gonna peel that off because it's hand cream going to get used so oh I think it does Just pop a little bit onto my hand there oh it does it's kind of that fake strawberry smell but I don't hate it and it does feel really really nice Ooh. 
definitely going to be popping that in my bag for work because hand sanitizer is totally ruining my hands at the moment and uh, that feels like it might be quite hydrating happy about that let's see what the book says okay so this is a thick hydrating moisturizer for your body with a delectable strawberry scent treat soothe and refresh dry skin cruelty free and parabens free says it contains strawberry extracts and essential oils how to use massage into slightly damp skin after your bath or shower until fully absorbed so it says it's a hand and body butter the description in here is definitely more as a body butter which i could see but for the sort of size that it is i just think that's going to be more useful to me as a hand cream i do have quite a few moisturizers at the moment so i don't need a body moisturizer but hand cream i think i've got about four or five on the go at the moment i've got sort of one in a handbag, one in a pocket for work, one in the kitchen, one in the bathroom, one in the bedroom. I've got hand creams everywhere, which is why you haven't seen any of my empties for a while because I've got about five on the go. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to be another one that's going to be added into the rotation. Um, I'm happy about that. Pleased to see that in here. Next, we've got something from Balance Me. Had a few things from Balance Me now from subscription boxes. Um, this is the AHA Glow Mask. Don't know much about this at all, so I'm just going to get straight into the book. So this is a chemical facial exfoliant to brighten, purify and plump your complexion. Its blend of AHAs encourages the shedding of any dry or dull skin to reveal a natural, youthful and luminous glow beneath. Suitable for all skin types, but particularly beneficial for blemish-prone skin. Um, so it's got so the AHAs it lists here are lactic acid, malic acid, glycolic acid, tartaric acid, kaolin clay and linden. Not sure what that last one is. Massage into cleansed skin, avoiding the eye area. Leave for 10 to 15 minutes and remove using a warm damp cloth. So that seems a bit odd though because it basically does the same thing as the Elemis product does. That's a bit odd not unhappy to have it and give it a go but it just seems a bit overkill for the enzymes and acid things i don't know um yeah not sure how i feel about that to be honest and then the last little thing that we've got in here is from ico um and it is the galactic Oh, it's a lid gloss. I thought it said lip gloss to start with. But no, it's a lid gloss. So it's a cream eyeshadow. Uh, shimmer and shine. I think the shade might be Zodiac. Um, let's have a look at the book. Yep, so this was one of two shades that we could have received. So I got Zodiac and the other shade was Stardust, which was sort of a silver shade. I'll just show you that. So this is the one I've got and this is the other one that we could have had. Zodiac is described as a warm rosy copper. I'm actually pleased that I got this one over the Stardust one, which is a shimmering silver. Um, I just I just tend to reach more for warmer tones anyway. Um, so this is a liquid eyeshadow to take your makeup look to the next level. Mess free and quick to apply. I don't think they've met me. With a glitter finish, which allows you to take your makeup from day to night. Swipe colour across the lid using the applicator. Build up where necessary and blend using either your finger or an eyeshadow brush. I kind of want to see what this looks like. Okay, well I can tell you that this is definitely not a full size because that says to apply it with an applicator. There's no applicator. It's just, it's just product being squeezed straight out of here. Let's just pop some onto there. Ooh, quite like that colour though. So that is what it looks like, just like that, which I think is really pretty actually. Um, and then it's just, ooh, mm. it, mm, mm. okay. Initially, I kind of like it, but as I've just sort of tried to rub that out a bit with my finger, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a little bit patchy, 
and it's it has got like a fair amount of glitter in there which i think is what's making it look a bit patchy to be honest um mm, not sure about that not sure how i'm gonna like that on the lids it might be okay if it's over a smaller space it might just be because i've tried to put it over a large surface area but i mean <sighs> look how reflective that is it looks pretty but we'll have to see how it looks on my eyes and obviously my eyes are sort of you know in their 30s not exactly crease free so i don't know how that's gonna fare on them but we'll see i guess and that brings us to the last item in the box so quick little recap we've got the elamasca beyond veil primer We've got the Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. We've got the Magnetone um, Makeup Remover Pads. The Bubble Tea Hand and Body Butter. The Balance Me AHA Glow Mask. And the Ico Galactic Lid Gloss in Zodiac. So overall, what did I think of this month's box? I'm not sure, actually. Um, there's a couple of things in here that I'm keen to try. Um, the Primer the Elemis um, Papaya Peel and the hand cream are definitely something that I'm going to probably try quite soon. I've got lots and lots of makeup remover type things. I've got um, reusable cotton pads that I use with a cleanser. I just, I like to use cleansers. Just using water for me, just it doesn't feel like I'm getting my face fully clean. The cloth I had from Magnetone, like I said, was really good, but I, ju I just don't like the design of these. Um, this confuses me, the Balance Me. I'm, not, I'm really not sure why we've got that and the Elemis in here. Um, and then we've got the, the lid gloss, which I think it's going to be very hit or miss. Um, so, we'll see. Overall, I don't think it's a terrible box, but... I'm, I'm just not sure but what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below what do you think of the items in this month's box is this a box that you already subscribed to in which case which items did you get were you happy do you think the same as me if this isn't a box that you already subscribed to is what you've seen today something that might tempt you to subscribe as i said just let me know in the comments down below i really do love to hear everybody's thoughts and opinions if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button for me. It really helps me out and lets me know that you're enjoying my content. If you're not already subscribed to my channel and you think you'd like to catch up with me more often, then I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button too. It's totally free and would help you to find me more easily in future. And with all of that being said, I really hope everyone's well and staying safe. And I will see you all again in another video very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.